Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is about uh, Triple IT Bangalore and I'm going to talk about everything, fees, cutoff placements, everything. So before that, it is International Institute of Information Technology. So it's not an Indian Institute, but it's an international institute and it's not a public or the government. It is public-private partnership. That means it is run both by public and private companies. It was established in 1999 in Bangalore and it is category of deemed to be university which is the highest standards. So in terms of courses now they offer BTEC courses as well and the integrated MTech as well as the normal MTech programs also right. So talking about the campus itself located in Bangalore the area is electronic city and campus is 9 acres. So it's not a big campus it's a compact but well planned campus. And the address of the campus is Electronicity Phase 1 opposite to Infosys Head Office which is Gate 1. Right? And uh, talking about the more about the infrastructures, they provide for decent amount of smart classrooms and well equipped research labs for AI, robotics, VLSI, data science. That is what you need in uh, this branch and provides for library, digital resources and access to all the databases. They do have a separate hostel facilities for both and girls and fully furnished single and double room sharing is available and the common rooms with TV etc is also available part of the recreational facilities. So I talked about the badminton, table tennis, carom uh, and gym and fitness center is also there. Apart from that, you also get the good uh, fine food and dining uh, areas, large cafeteria with multiple cuisine options, mini food courts are, and the cafe outlets are available in the campus. And it's known for its innovation and startup culture. So dedicated incubation centers are there you know, and regular hackathons are all there. Now, these are some of the pictures of the main infrastructure, right? So it's a beautiful compact campus located in Electronic City and this is one of the best facilities. So talking now about the academic program. So now they are also offering B.Tech in CSC, Computer Science Engineering, which is the four year program. You can also study B.Tech in ECE, Electronics and Communication Engineering. So two branches, then third branch is B.Tech DSAI, which is Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. Apart from these three B.Tech programs, you can do integrated mtech five year program in mtech in csc integrated mtech that is and then you have integrated mtech in ec that is also five year program talking about there is not much seats available and btech csc only 120 seats btech ece 30 seats only you can study btech in dsai 60 seats and then integrated mtech program in csc and ec both have only 30 30 seats now in terms of requirement for both the BTEC program and the integrated MTEC program, it is through common entrance exam which is JE mains and the requirement is that it you should be 10 plus 2 or equivalent and, and maths is the compulsory subject in your graduate, you know, 12th class. So it is a triple IT so it does it is not part of the uh, regular triple IT so for this you have to apply sign up separately with 1000 rupees fee on their own portal which is erp.iitb.net and sign up an application portal is uh, given there so you have to create login and then you have to register with 1000 rupees non-refundable and then you will have to upload the J mains application number your J mains rank all india rank and your NTA score in seven decimal digits now since this is based on the J mains cutoff so last year this is last year's last round so after this there is no round so last student got admission btech csc with all india rank of 7200 dsai 7 9400 ece 10300 rank uh, 7987 for integrated mtech which is five year program and then 11,000 for integrated MTech EC, which is also five year program. So first round, it will be much tougher, but this is the last round cutoffs, last to last round. So you need to be have minimum 99 plus percentile, right? And if you are going for the plain MTech, which is two year program, so two year MTech will not be through J means it will be through gate exam. So this is last two years, last year's gate cutoff of last round, 591 for CSC and 504 for EC brand then only you will get through gate two years mtech program so now let's also understand the fee structure for this and this is the fees per semester this is fees per semester so for four year btech program this is for btech first and second year you will pay 2 lakh 30 thousand per semester 
that means your one year fees was 4 lakh 60,000 four year four lakh sixty thousand for first and second year but in the third and fourth year your per semester fees increases to two lakh seventy six thousand that means your yearly fees will be more than five lakhs so you can understand that in the four year program your total tuition fees will be more than twenty lakhs twenty four thousand more than twenty lakhs and some more other fees is there which I will tell later in this one and this is last year's fees so it may increase little bit now talking about the fee structure for IM Tech which is integrated M Tech. So this is not the four year course. This is five year course. So first two years you will be charged similar to B Tech student. Third and fourth year also you will be charged similar to B Tech student. You can see 2,76,000 per cent. But in the fifth year that year you will be charged 3,4,000 per semester. So that means your fees also increases in the uh, per semester basis on the last year. So total 5 years course fees would be more than 26 lakhs. So this is also quite expensive but the placements of this college is quite excellent and you will see this. Before that one more thing that staying in the hostel is compulsory in this college. So student need to pay hostel and campus facility fees of 39,000 per semester and this is also per semester that means 80,000 close to that per year. That is the campus and hostel fees. And you will be charged 28,800 that is close to 30,000 per semester for food. So 60,000 per year for food also. Apart from this a student has a medical insurance which is charged 2,000 rupees per annum. And some small one time library deposit 4,000 and caution deposit for hostel is 15,000 which is refundable. Apart from that cost for books, supplies, travel, purchase, laptop etc will be differently. Now I will talk about the placement. The placements of college is excellent and it is much more uh, than even most of the IITs, right? So you can see here the seat intake is very less. Companies like Bosch, Cisco, Amazon, you know, all of the best companies, HSBC, IBM, and then Google, you know, Intuit, Intel, all top-notch companies are there on the campus and providing packages which are very high. So let me talk about the placements now. To 2023-24 batch placement, there were total 578 offers and total internship offers out of 578 were 311 and full-time offers were 267. And you have already seen the total number of seats are very low. So 267, all the students almost got the jobs. So I will first start with integrated MTech because BTech is the new course in this college. Before that, only integrated MTech, which is the five-year program was available in this college. So that five-year program integrated MTech, you can see the highest package for CSC was 65 lakhs. And see the average package a CSC student five-year program integrated MTech got is 33 lakhs. Even the median package, the student who is in the middle, that student has got minimum 28 lakhs, which is much higher than most of the IITs. Similarly, ECE placement, you can see the highest package was 65 lakhs for ECE also and the average package for ECE is even 36.2 lakhs. So this is average, median will be close to less than 30 lakhs. Now these are MTech programs, that means this is two year course. After bachelors, you do two year course, for that also highest package was 65 lakhs, average package was 21.8 lakhs and median package was 18.9 lakhs. So integrated MTech or pure MTech placements are very good now talking about the electronics and communication engineering ece m tech right for that also highest package was 39.3 lakhs average package was 29.2 and the median salary was even more than 20 lakhs so every branch almost has a very good placement here and if you see the breakup how much salary they are getting 40 lakh salary more than 40 lakh salary 20 students got it which is very excellent salary more than 40 lakhs 27 students between 30 to 40 lakhs which is also very high salary 61 students between 10, 20 to 30 lakhs also 73 students and 10 to 20 lakhs 80 students and there are no students who get less than 10 lakh salary so that is the minimum benchmark there now if you want to see the nirf data for last three years median salaries and uh, first table on the top it shows the integrated at uh, mtech that means five year program for 5 year program 2022 batch 177 students eligible all 177 placed that means everybody 100% placement 
median salary was 24.9 for 25 lakh rupees median salary next batch 23 passing batch 173 students eligible 170 students got placed two students gone for higher studies and ev almost everybody got placed so 21 lakhs median salary even the bad markets like 2024 174 students eligible all 174 got placed 100 percent placement 20 lakh median salary so this fee structure is high but placements are all 100 percent and with very high median salary next if you see the bottom table is for mtech student two-year program two-year mtech through gate exam so that also 22 passing but 61 students eligible 55 got placed 23 lakhs median salary excellent and the rest of the four students went for the higher studies next year 2023 passing batch 110 students eligible 102 got placed and seven went for higher studies median salary you can see still 27 lakhs median salary and in 2024 batch the toughest year for mtech students 120 students eligible 107 got placed with the median salary of excellent which is 20, 29.3 30 lakhs is the median salary for mtech students and six students went for the higher studies so you can see everything it's integrated mtech or mtech all are good and btech is the new course so you will get similar placement so that's all i have to cover in this video thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in india take care and bye